Hello, welcome back to my time at Sandrock. My name is so we're picking right up where we left off. It's still snowing. Ugh. Why's it gotta be winter? Oh look, magic mirror is here. Hello, magic mirror. What is your command? Master. Howdy. There's been something of a development. Hello, Rosie. Greetings, master. I'm good now. <sighs> Don't say it like that. You were always good, just manipulated by an evil master. Could happen to anybody. Your nuanced view of good and evil is a fresh breath of electricity. Um. Uh, you're just lucky the city was able to see things my way. Just got off the telegraph with the research center folks over in Porsche. It turns out they had an AI not unlike our own literally fall out of the sky. Long story. Yeah. Theirs is unambiguously good and answered all sorts of curious conundrums. Bad news, AI do not dream of electric sheep. <laughs> good news, the whole AI cannot lie deal did turn out to be a thing, so that means everything Rosie here said is true. I am not a crook. Mm. <laughs> That's right. Who's a good mirror? Who's a good mirror? <laughs> I am. Which brings me to why we are here. <gasps> Let me serve you, hmm. Master. I guess Rosie here really wants to live in your yard, help out in your workshop. That'll make her feel at home and help you at the same time. Seems like a win-win to me. What do you say? Will you let Rosie work for you? Sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, joy. Oh, that's swell. I love a happy ending. Uh, before you go, here, take this microchip. You can dig these up in the ruins. Each one should give Rosie a new function that'll help you out around your hmm. workshop. You're also going to want a helper box. Place it in your yard somewhere, then put materials you want Rosie to use in the helper box. Trust me. Just easier that way. Box, 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 box. I love box. Chip, chip, chip. Put it in my head. Y'all, to have fun. Don't hurt nobody. Obviously, that would be bad. Reflect poorly on myself so and everyone heart. at City Hall. Toodles. Does someone need a makeover? No, I don't need a makeover. Please tell me if you change your mind. I'd be honored to give you a makeover. You'll still be the most beautiful creature in the world. I will always register your inner beauty. In the future, I regret I must ask of you a small sum of human currency uh, for goods and services, which I continue to purchase goods and services for more makeovers. Uh, upon accepting other tasks, I may also need more human currency for power stones to recharge my battery. I would steal them for you. Unfortunately, my programming won't let me. First makeover is free. Wait, come back, come back. Uh, wow, she's two thousand for a month. Uh, that that's fine. She can just not be hired. From Elsie, we learn the monster whistle. All right. Okie dokie. Let's go see how we make a monster whistle. It's not here. There it was. Back page. We need zinc titanium alloy. We need organic ceramic sheet and a high speed motor. I have exactly one of those. I do not have the zinc titanium alloy. Oh boy. I can make it. I need to go get some high-speed motors. Out of stamina. I reached the bottom of the Starship Ruins and they have a little bit of everything. Um, copper all the way up to silver ore. What's this? Uh, manganese. Yeah, they have a little bit of everything at the bottom of the Starship Ruins, which is awesome. I've got my motors. I just need to get the titanium alloy. Hey, 
I got some news. Seems like that giggler woke up. Let's go check it out at the clinic. Sounds great, Justice. Let's do that. Okay, let me try this. Where? Where am I? Who are you? What, what do you mean my mother was a fish? <laughs> oh, uh, is that what I said? Sorry. Never mind that. You can speak our language? Wait, how am I surprised? What's your name? Why were you in that canyon? The canyon? What canyon? I... Hey, uh, you bump your head or something? You're real polite for a giggler. That's rude. Anybody can be polite. I... Wait, who am I? I... Where, where did I come from? I can't remember. Uh-oh. Hey, hey, it's okay. Relax, buddy. How can I relax when I can't remember? He's out again. Doc, do something. Acupuncture may help. No, it won't. Does he have acupoints? Hmm. Ow! <laughs> Sheriff, do not scare the patient anymore. What? Uh, All okay. I did was. All right, all right, I get it. I remember. Y yeah? Go on. I was at Gecko Station with my brethren. Gecko Station? You one of the gigglers from over there? I used to. Ugh, my head. Howdy. I heard you got a giggler cooped up in here. You awake yet? I did some digging around after their leader died. Seems like there was some sort of infight. Then they all moved off someplace else. That leader's partner died in the chaos or something. Huh? Logan, watch what you're saying. Doc said nothing too shocking. <laughs> well, he missed that part. Are you okay? I remember. He talks? <laughs> I'm Larry, the president of the Gigglers. Hi, Larry. What? You really lost weight. Yeah, you did. You, you said Cena died. What does that mean? Uh, oh, I'm sorry for your loss. And I know it's a lot to take in, but, but you need to calm down. Calm down? My wife is dead and you want me to calm down? He's making a good hey, point. Hold on now. You only just woke up. Think about your responsibilities. Don't give yes. up. Yes. I'm responsible for our holy book. Holy book? The cover says Kegel Company Handbook. I have one of these from Vega 5. Do you understand what this is? Yes, I can read. This book was with them when our ancestors took their first steps. It speaks of the sins of your people. They have partaken in deception and shall be punished accordingly. They will not qualify. There should be more. You seem to have a torn up version. They will not qualify for a promotion. It means an employee violation. If they have violated the company rules, they will not be able to get a higher position in the company. That is all. What? Impossible! You're trying to trick me, human! Nah, nah! Now, why would I waste time to do that? It's... not divine punishment? But what about... We must replace them, city by city, until Giggle... Is the only available option to consumers. Yes, historically, Giggle was a technology company aiming for monopolization of the market. A common trend in old world business. Ethics was secondary to profits. That sounds familiar. Company? Business? I... I don't understand. It's our holy book. 
It told us to take over the world. Simple misinterpretation. You are not the first to misunderstand the content of the book. Very true. I can't believe it. Director Chi, what are you doing here anyway? I was just getting a checkup on my heart rate, but this is far more interesting. <laughs> oh. What should I say? Uh, think about all your gamer friends back home. My home. cousin Gary. He must still be alive. <laughs> Maybe I can find him. Gary? Ain't that the name of the new president? What? I heard that Gary took over the organization and ordered the rest to follow him elsewhere. I don't know what type of welcome this cousin of yours will give you. Huh? <laughs> Your wife wouldn't want to see she you like this. She was supposed to grow old with me. Raise our young. And now she's but a memory. Bittersweet. Well, when I was looking into your old spot, I found some eggshells. No idea if they were yours, though. Huh? What? Jab wow. Nah, no, he's fine. Uh, my head. He's unstable. I'm. Well, yeah. I'm fine. Work is the lifeblood of the strong. That is why we smile on unpaid overtime. <laughs> this is what the holy book, the company handbook, has taught me. Please, if there's anything else, I can handle it. Larry, I am Trudy, the mayor of Sandrock. I know it's hard for you right now. But we have to clear up something. You tore up the peace agreement you signed with Howlett and tried to take over Sandrock after his death. I don't know what your plans are, but it seems to me like there's nowhere you can go back to now. If you abandon your previous plans of invasion, then we are willing to help you. When you have recovered, you may go where you please. You... you'll help me. Uh, yeah, sure. The Holy Book a lie my people I don't want to be your enemy I signed an agreement with Howlett I, I admired him but when he left the, the holy book sent to honor the agreement without Howlett there was no agreement that's um no that's not how simple it misunderstanding is all it seems that the Giggles have considerably less cognitive function than us. <laughs> Look, yeah. I don't care what he's done before. He needs help, and us Sandrockers ain't the kind to turn someone away when they're in need. Larry, you get some rest. We'll talk in a bit. Now, we've taken enough of the good doctor's time. Let's get back to business, everyone. Yeah. Kind of in his way, honestly. Trudy, I don't want to be rude, but why are we helping him? What if he's up to no good and started making trouble in the neighborhood? We just <laughs> had it up to here with Duvos. I know, Justice, and you're right. But we just can't throw out an injured like that, human or not. We'll keep a close eye on him. If something goes wrong, I'll take full responsibility. All right, your call. Come on, Justice, just give it a chance. A trial run. You too? I thought you'd be the first with the pitchfork. Hey, y'all gave me a second chance, didn't you? Yeah. Well. I'm going to get Burgess to do a psychiatric test on Larry, just to be sure. Oh, poor Larry. Leave this to me and Builder Justice. You and Logan have too much history with him. So, uh, how about it? Want to help me give a little test to Larry? No Great. problem. I'll go get Burgess. Poor Larry. I'm gonna torture him with Burgess, Burgess. This is Larry. He's the one that needs to take your test. He speaks our language. Ah, uh, nice to meet you, Mr. Giegler Larry. I'll be administering the Roaring Sand Shark test. I'll show you some pictures. You tell me what you feel. Okay. Well, Builder, Larry, why don't you two take it together? A builder can be the control group. Oh, God. What should I say? Serenity. I see. A human child. 
Yes. Nothing else? No, uh, happy feelings? Well, Larry, that's number two. Next picture. Heroism. The holy book says, acts of undue violence will be met with severe punishment. Not limited to on-the-spot firing from a cannon into the sun. Wow. Wow. I agree with the first part. Not so much about the cannon, though. Yeah, let's just take that no violence bit. Yes. Let's move on. Uh, friendship with animals. What's wrong, Larry? What do you see? It... it reminds me of someone. Who? Howlet. When we made the agreement, we shook, hand to claw. When I saw this picture, it reminded me of that day. Larry, that feeling? It's called friendship. Friends. I understand. Uh, a couple deep in love. Zena! Zena! An old love? Larry, are you okay? I loved you, Zena. No. Where are you? Where have you gone? Why did you leave me? A love lost. A story as old as time. I understand, Larry. Phew! Okay, we're finished! Now, let me see the results. Wowee! You're as stable as a table! So, I know. Burgess, how did our President Larry fare? Let me see. Normal as can be. No violent tendencies, no hateful feelings. Just a tinge of 100% genuine sadness. So, he that, should that be genuine sadness came from us? talking to you, Burgess. I would give a most certain yes. He seems to understand us and doesn't hold any harmful feelings. Oh, great. Yay. Thank you, Mayor. Uniform boy, strong person, and quiet lady with bird. Ha! That's, that's you, Fang. Larry, have you thought about what you'll do next? <sighs> no. If I go back, I might have to fight Gary for the leadership position. I don't want that. If I may, I would request that I be permitted to stay in San Rock a while longer. Of sure thing. course, Larry. Take all the time you need. I'll check to see if someone might have something for you to do in town to sustain yourself. Although, truth be told, there might be some resistance to see a former enemy in town. I'll leave you for now. Make yourself at home, and welcome to Sandrock. Quiet lady with a bird. <laughs> All right, so that was dealing with Larry. Now we gotta go and make our monster calls. Or whistles, I should say. Because it all should be done, and I should be able to just go straight into it. Uh, I got something here, too. What we got? Howdy! Hey there! Hi, Burgess. Howdy. Top of the morning to mm. you. <laughs> the rest of the Flower Gate Committee and I, we were kind um. of talking, and I joined five minutes ago, by the wow. way. Wow. Oh my gosh, look out behind you. It's that mad AI and it's coming right for us. Man, the missing masts? Batten down the hatches? What should I say? You mean Rosie? Mm hmm? You've named it? It's so hard to get rid of a pet if you've given a name to it already. Shh, you'll give the game away. Oops. Let me give it to you straight. We know you're within your rights to have this AI working for you. It's just some of us were scared. Mm. Thing tried to hurt people. Just think what might happen if you forget to feed its its nuts and bolts for the day. He'll kill again. Did you know that over 99% of AI in our world are crazy and evil? I mean, you yourself have spent plenty of time in Paradise Lost Hazardous Ruins. Have you ever met a nice robot hmm. in there? Statistically, it's very unlikely that this is one of the good ones. I'm really worried about everyone's safety. <sighs> back on topic. What's more unreligious? 
and putting me out of a job. Am I supposed to compete with an AI machine barber? I'll be out in the streets faster than you can say frosted Fuck. tips. I do not intend to provide a makeover for non-master personnel. Hmm? Oh. Um, so oh. Bye! Oh. We've lost a proud member of our crusade. Uh-huh. I really thought he wanted to convert to. Have you guys spoken with Heidi? Her explanation was mm -hmm. too long. Uh. Are these your friends, Master? They seem very mm. lovely. Nice try, Butterbot. We're keen to your s sycophantic sludgery. Sicko who now? Ha. Oh. Do you two hate me for who I am? I we. Rosie has feelings, uh -huh. too. Can robots feel things like we do? If I don't have feelings, why am I about to cry? Oh no, do you realize what we've done? Mm -hmm. Forgot the most important teaching in the whole Church of the Light. Um... Destroy evil technology. Mm. Well, that's an important part. Even more so as you know that other one. To be kind to all those under Light's embrace. Does that apply to robots as well? Hmm. Yes, we do seem to be in a gray area. A robot that feels? Tell you what, let's err on the side of acceptance, love, and friendship and give this robot a chance. Hmm. As long as someone's keeping an eye on it, I guess I'll turn down my fear level a bit. Sorry to bother you, thanks for hearing us out. I think we all learned something here today. Well, except you, you mainly taught us stuff. Catch yeah. you later! See ya! See you around the water towel. Okay, why is everyone afraid of me? The world was destroyed by technology once. See, what remains of my data logs 330 years ago, this must be the old world. Perhaps I can understand why humans would be afraid of me. I shall independently research what kind of technology destroyed this old world, and do my best not to be that. Thank you for helping me to fill my incomplete memory banks, Master. No problem! Another 20 points for the mirror. Man, we are such good friends. Alright, there we go. We've got everything we need. Let's build these monster whistles. And actually do something. You're here! We're here. Yeah! Ah, good to see you. Ready to roll? Oh! Recommend level 46 to 48. Right. Give me a bit of time. Don't take too long. We don't want to risk another incident. But make sure you're prepared. I'm gonna need some more healing items. I'm a level 40. Alright, we got some more healing potions. We're gonna try and bull our way through this one. I don't know how well this is gonna work, but we're gonna see what happens. Because otherwise I have to gain so many levels to even try this. You're here! Ah, good to see you. Well, before we head in, let's assess the situation. Okay. We're gonna be facing some monsters, so make sure you're looking sharp. Huh? Nah, I want to do this clean. No hurting animals. Elsie, we ain't gonna be able to do this without hurting anything. But we made the whistles, so as not to harm anything. Not to harm anything more than we need to. I ain't saying we need to turn into maniacs, but... We can try and minimize course. the hurt. We ain't trying to deliberately cause pain, but we gotta know why we're here. We're here to keep them away, not kill them. Howlett said violence should always be the last option. We are the last option, else. You want those monsters to hurt more people? No, but... I love you, else. But you gotta toughen up. My pa was always finding ways to minimize damage, but he knew the deal. If you want to be like my pa, you gotta realize that. I'm sorry, Elsie, but this is the reality. If you ain't got the strength to accept it, I don't know if I trust that you got my back. Be I there. got your back. All right, then. Well, let's head out. Wow. Look at the work she's done.
That's the Porsche fighting music. That's kind of cool. And it's the Porsche uh, dungeon music, too. All right, install. That first one should right. clear out a That's bunch the first of them, one. right? Two more to go. I still feel bad about fighting these animals, though. Remember, we're doing this to keep everyone safe. If you insist. I mean, he's right, Elsie. It's just. I mean, if you know how to get rid of desert hoppers without this kind of fight, I'd love to hear it. What's going on? They're just de aggroing for no reason. Confirm. Boink. There ain't enough wind in the tunnel for the whistles to work yet. Shoot. I'd hope that after we saw the first two, we don't need a fan no more. Let's keep going. Yeah. <clears throat> Last one, except we haven't seen that initial monster that showed up in the cutscene. So where's that at? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Elves. Looks like this here's the last one. Way to go, Elsie. I haven't seen one of these fellas in a while. Better watch it. Now, don't hit him too hard. And gotcha. There it goes. Learned about Mega Let's Tunnel World. Install the last whistle right here. But first, we gotta open up the last bit of the tunnel. The whistles need wind to work. You wanna do the honors? Sure. Do I have a gun? No, I'm doing it the old-fashioned way. Woohoo! Awesome job! Last thing left is to install the whistle, and we're home free. All right, well, let's do it. That green over in the far left is uh, the stuff in Porsche the that we did. <sighs> Beautiful, ain't it? Sure is. I can almost see Porsche from here. Else, it's got to be two to three hundred leagues from here, behind another mountain range. Oh, to maybe not then. I have good eyesight. Anyway, better head on back and tell the mayor. Let's go. We did our job. Everybody get back to work. Actually, you don't need to get back to work because I finished it for wonderful you. News. Thank you, Elsie, Builder, and Logan. And congratulations to your team as well, Heidi. The tunnel is nearing completion. Yep. Oh, it makes you think about the future. I really think this is the start of something big. We're really close now. Connecting Sandrock to Portia. The hard part is behind us. We're connecting the free cities. Yeah. When Sandrock grows strong again, the free cities will also flourish. We still need a, a paving machine, right? You mentioned something like that before. We did, but then our new commissioner told me that he could call in a favor and get my team one himself. Oh, that's great, Commissioner Way. It was a machine we built when we were trying to build a road through the peripheries. It didn't work out too well for us there. But I'm pretty sure it should do fine making a desert road. Cool. Well, all that's left is to wait for progress on Porsche's end. Ah, uh, speaking of which, I've already contacted Mr. Musa about it. He said he'll ask Mint to come over and give us a project update. He should be here soon. Anyway, I'm really proud of you As long as he doesn't fall asleep all. on the railroad Cheers tracks. Cheers to us. 
to us! Sweet! I got a helmet. The Bright Kitty helmet. So Haru, how's the research? Anything you need to know? You know I'll help out with whatever you need. Oh hey! Why don't you join us? Haru's making a big decision about where to go to school. And he needs some advice. Sure, what's bothering you, Haru? I'm thinking about where I belong. Director Chi spoke at length about the university in Vega 5. It seems like an amazing place. Their system sounds too rigorous to me. I feel like I'd be a little stifled there. The director thinks I'd be better in a more open learning environment, too. Ah, like Atara University, right? Yeah, I've contacted the admissions over there already, and they told me what I need to do to enroll. I was really worried that I didn't have the qualifications, but Mayor Trudy wrote a letter of recommendation for me. I just need to pass an entrance exam. So, maybe that's the way to go? But it's expensive. Can't go wrong with Atara. And don't worry about tuition too much. Plenty of people get scholarships to go in, and I reckon you're a shoe in Besides, there are competitions and internships to help you out, too. You can do an exchange program in Vega 5 anyway, so you won't be missing anything by going with Atari, you. Wow, I didn't know any of that. The idea of being in a real classroom is exciting, but intimidating. I only came to school in Sandrock for a couple of days before it shut down, so I ended up reading chemistry books on my own. I didn't really have anyone to tell me if I was wrong, so I just experiment and see. I even had a few accidents, which freaked Logan out a bit. What if my self-taught methods don't allow me to fit in at Atara U? Learning on your own shows how capable you are. Exactly. You've already learned so much on your own. Just imagine how much better it's going to be when you have experts to help you out. And trust me, Atara U? has some of the best minds in the free cities. I suppose if I can ask someone whether or not it's possible to do a thing, and they can tell me not to because they've tried it already, at the very least, I'll be saving a lot of time. You yeah. got it. And really, most folks lack the discipline to teach themselves much of anything, let alone something like chemistry. You're already leaps and bounds ahead of the other applicants, I reckon. Anyway, regardless of where you go, I hope it all goes well. Can't wait to see your name attached to some groundbreaking discovery. Thanks. Talking to you two, I feel a lot better about the situation. You're cool. doing the right thing. Cool. Your friends can come you visit can do you, it. and the years will pass by before you know it. Heck, send us your resume when you get out. We'll put you to work. Hard to say where we'll all be then, but yes. That does sound very nice. Back to it then. Yes. So long. I didn't even see that on the map. I was just running back to my workshop. Anything else? Not really. Okay. Well, I definitely want to sleep a night and see if there's any storyline triggers. Hey. I wanted to talk to you. Don't know if you've heard, but Haru's leaving Sandrock the day wow, after tomorrow. Wow, that was a quick decision. Go and study in Atara. He's like a little brother to me. I got to do something for him. Nice and simple. So I'm planning for us to get together uh, at the old camp. Have a meal like old times. You have time to come along? I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Of course. Well, all right. I got to go get a gift for I know he's going to be doing a whole bunch of experiments over there. Maybe Fang has some test tubes or something. Come to the cave tomorrow anytime after 6 p.m. I'll tell Rambo to wait for you. Cool. We're going to do that. Maybe I can make him some goggles as a farewell gift. Okay. Mint is wrapped in sand rock. Uh, we'll be having a meeting in City Hall. Come as soon as you can. And then she's explaining that there's a Giggler in town and he's not a bad guy. 
All right, we got our sand gear for Haru. We got some uh, storyline quests to hit. Oh God, this is gonna get weird in a hurry. And that's the blue moon, where people put food in their mouths and go nummy, nummy, whoa. What was Wilson. that? Wilson! <laughs> Look, buddy, I know what you're going through right now is really hard. Ah. Ah. The rules, soldier! The rules! Keep it together! Come down, buddy. Forgive me. I have to go all out. Just this once. Ow! Why does this always happen to me? What is going on? He... He was out of control, sir. I couldn't stop him. It's true. Lock me up and throw away the key. Now, nah, just wait a sec. It looks like I'm going away for a while. Take care of Wilson while I'm in the clink. I'll... I'll write you every day. That's not necessary. Don't... Don't forget about me. Yeah. I'll let him hang in there for a couple of days, then find a loophole that'll get him off. That should take care of things. Couple of days? Listen, Burgess, for the last time, we cannot put people in the slammer for stepping in the oasis, chopping down trees, or any of that nuisance -y. Why not? Like, <laughs> maybe he got some sand in there, some germs. Man, birds crap in there sometimes. We always have to boil our water. This is just not that big of a deal. Yeah. I think I used to look up to you. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're just gonna have to get over it. Sorry you had to see this. Uh, maybe you should visit Unsho in jail sometime. I'd imagine he'd already locked himself in there. I was right. It's gonna get weird. What a cutscene. Human customer, please try some of this delicious food. Holy Yakmill on a stick. They weren't kidding about a lizard man working here. It even speaks our tongue. Now I have seen everything. Um. Care to help me? I'm uncomfortable with all the attention. He's a sand rocker. Really? But didn't they used to fight against sand rock? But this dude get captured? Uh, I've been around seen a lot, but this takes the biscuit. I know, this is so interesting. Thank you. This is overwhelming. Yeah, well, okay. I was gonna wait till tomorrow and do that uh, quest for Logan, but with all these little quests in town, I think that'll be everything. Hi, man. Ah, hey. Nice to see you again. Going to the meeting as well? Mr. Musa asked me to come coordinate with Heidi on the final stage of the Sandrock Porsche Road. And who am I to turn down a long train ride? The rumbling of the train really helps me drift off. I was Porsche. I actually got injured there building the tunnel. Some AI machine caused the tunnel collapse. Luckily, the local builder in the Civil Corps saved me. It was quite scary. I bet. Other than that, it was nice. My family lives there. You'd like it there. It's nice to be back in Sandrock, though. I've got a lot to talk to Space Case about. Anyway, we've got a meeting. Let's not keep them waiting. Okay. Thank you for coming, everyone. And welcome back, Mint. This meeting is for us to get an update on the current situation of the Sandrock Porsche Road Project, as well as what needs to be done next. With that said, I'll turn it over to you, Heidi. Mint? Thank you, Mayor Trudy. I'm happy to be back as well. Things are finishing up on the portion side. The tunnel through the southern Eufaula range has been completed and Mayor Gale is currently setting up a trading hub. I understand the tunnel is also done here in Sandrock? Yep, just certified it. Oh, that's good. Hmm? D did President Yan get rid of his mustache? <laughs> no, no, my boy. I'm Wei, the new commissioner here. Nice to meet you. It's so confusing. Yeah. Anyway, 
That means we're right on schedule. Yeah, let's All just brush that aside. Is to lay the road <laughs> and build the station. I assume Mr. Musa will be running the bus route, right? Does he need buses? Portia has started working on a long haul bus. Mayor Gale wants to make sure that when the road is done, we can start the routes as quickly as possible. That's a good idea. Maybe we can help out in some way? Well, I brought over an updated copy of the diagram for the long haul bus. Mr. Musa wanted to commission you guys to build the water tank bus version, while Portia builds the people ferry version. Oh, All right. that's wonderful! Our Commerce Guild is up for the challenge! Yeah, we are. That we are. So, if I'm getting this right, we'll be handling the bus station and the water tank bus? That's right! Mint, let's talk about how we can finish the road after this meeting. No need to hold everyone up. Sure. I'll be sure to distribute the work through the mail tomorrow. So, look for that, builders. Cool. Got it. Then, okay. Everything's settled. Meeting adjourned. Thanks for coming, everyone. Hey, thanks for visiting me. No problem, Looks like man. things got You're real so mixed weird. up. Now I'm on the other side of the lawn. Never thought I'd see this happen. I'm like the Oasis version of Logan. Driven to madness by my raging emotions. Suddenly I have a lot more sympathy for that guy. Uh, you did Thanks the right for saying thing. That. I hope you're right. Now, I hate to break up this, uh, teary little reunion, but I did some poking through the Civil Corps official code. A bit of cross-checking through the town charter. Huh? As it turns out, in Section 7, Subsection B of the town charter, which clearly states... No citizen shall contaminate the oasis in any capacity under penalty of... Uh, well, skip that part. There is a clause that just as clearly states the aforementioned penalty shall not be incurred to any officer of the law who deems it necessary at or above a certain rank. Huh? Furthermore, it is civil court tradition to reward those who go above and beyond the call of duty, those who risk their lives for that of another, those who throw all caution to the wind and do what they know in their hearts to be right. Huh? Unsure. I hereby award you the title of Deputy. Oh my. I... Wow. Which also means you are free to go. So, get back out on patrol, please. Just when I was about <laughs> to get a face tattoo. Better go. <laughs> Chat later. All right. I hope I can once again count on you to come through as our town's most reliable builder and fix us up one more hat. Oh, that's right. We even got a new design in. You know the hat business. Feels like every time you get a new one, it's obsolete in a few months. Yeah, here you go. A recipe for a super deluxe deputy hat with built-in plating for extra protection for the most extreme of oh, combat wow. situations. Ceremony. Oh, shoot. Uh, see if Unsure brings it up. Like I said, this whole deputy sheriff thing, it's all just something I made up. I mean, come on. I made the cat deputy. I thought everyone would get a kick out of that. But a couple people got kind of mad. Anyway, wow. Unsure takes it real serious. But yeah, it's not really a thing. Just take the super deluxe deputy hat to Unsure when it's ready. He'll be over the moon. Cool. Hey, he's a deputy. He's definitely going to be over the moon. Super deputy hat. Oh my god, I knocked it out of the park. Oh rare. Nice. Well, that's where we're gonna stop this one. We finished the road to Portia. We're gonna be making uh in Portia we made the buses and the bus stop just for people. Now we're gonna make one on this side for water. That's cool. I don't know if you'd call it a bus though. It's a water tanker. We're making water tankers. Anyway, that will be in the next one. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you can see when I post new things. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Catch you on the next one. Bye!